Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to make your character jump higher by holding jump button down. So, the longer you hold the button, the higher your player jumps. Scripts as usual will be available by the link in the description. Let's set up our scene from the scratch so you can follow the steps how it's done. Add a background, add some grass with box collider to act as a ground. And add a character, which will have rigid body 2D with gravity scale set to 2 and collision detection set to continuous. And also it will have circle collider 2D component. Then create a canvas. Set scale mode to scale with screen size. In this canvas we need to create UI text, UI image and UI button elements. UI text will be jump force text image will be jump force bar and button will be jump button. Anchor text to the top center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Set text as jump force. Set font family as chunk 5. Love this font. Font size as 40. Set horizontal and vertical overflow as overflow. White color is ok here I think. Focus on text by double click it and modify its position a bit. Like that. Next, let's tweak jump force bar element. Drag and drop jump force bar sprite into source image slot. Modify its height a bit so it looks more like bar. Anchor it top center and modify its position. That's it. Next is jump button. Anchor it at right bottom. Drag and drop button sprite into source image slot. Modify its transform settings. Expand button and edit its text component. That's it. I almost forgot about one thing with jump force bar. Change image type to filled and set fill method as horizontal. Here is fill mount option that we will be modifying through the script. Now let's pay some attention to scripts. First one is cat script, that is pretty simple one. Here we have rigid body component reference, that is used to add a force in vector to up direction to perform jumps. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to cat. Next script is button script, which is a bit more complicated, but not too much. Script is using Unity UI library. It has jump force bar reference adjustable in inspector and hold time float variable. In start method jump force bar fill amount is set to 0. On pointer down method is invoked when button is pressed down. Fill amount is set to 0 again and start counting coroutine is started. In this coroutine we start a loop for hold time variable from 0 to 1 incrementing its value by delta time each iteration. Then jump force fill amount is set as hold time and each iteration is paused by time delta time. Then hold time is set to 1 and fill amount is set as hold time value. This is done because hold time value is not equals to 1 at the end of the loop, but it's a bit less than 1. On pointer up method is invoked when button is released. First of all coroutine is stopped. Then if hold time at release moment is less than 0.3, then cat jumps with constant force equals to 300. And else if hold time is greater than 0.3, then cat jumps with force equals hold time multiplied by 1000. Last line of code just resets fill amount value. Drag and drop button script into button. Select button and drag and drop jump force bar into jump force bar slot of its button script. Now we need to add some component to jump button to make it work. It's event trigger component. Here click add new event type and select pointer down option. Hit plus, drag and drop jump button into object slot and select on pointer down method from its button script. Add another one event type, select pointer up option. Button is already added, so select on pointer up method from its button script. That's it. Now we can hit play and see how it works. The cat can perform low jumps if we just click in the button and it can jump higher if we hold button down longer. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.